everybody, and welcome back to An Adventure of a Lifetime. There, nailed it. Um, oh, let me take care of it. It's been a few days since I've recorded, so... Grass. Um, let me think about this here a second. What were we doing? Right, we were about to enter into the Jungle Temple. And we'll conquer... Probably not going to conquer that in today's episode. I think this one might have to be broken down into a two-parter, because it's actually a fairly um, sizable dungeon. Oh, come on. Heck off. Thank you. And of course, there's a little bit of uh, side stuff around. And you know me being easily distracted. No, come on. There we go. Is there anything back here? Aha! Alright, noise. Great success. Okay, I need to stop being so easily distracted. Like, this isn't the kind of content people came for. Is it? I don't know. I don't think the map is... Well, I, first couple episodes I recorded, the, the map hasn't been released. I think now this episode's going to be going out on Monday here. So now I think the map is released. And I don't know why I'm going off on this tangent. Anyways, um... Jungle Temple. Oh. So, let me get into the jungle temple first. So there's a, an up and a down. We need to go down first. Ta-da! Uh, the jungle temple. So what I'm going to do... Is go in here first. So, I... So... So I'm recording this Sunday for release on on Monday. I usually do like a two episode two episode a day just to try and fill up a backlog. But uh, yesterday I was DJing a wedding uh, at a. Oh, now I've opened up the top section of the temple. Okay, so we got to go here, open up the top section, then we can keep going. So, anyways, I was DJing a wedding at a at a um, it's a skeet shooting place and absolutely beautiful venue I it was it was incredible so it's it's uh, it's fall up here in the midwest and it happened to be just like peak color uh, it's peak color at this place so just the entire woods around this uh this venue is just yellow and it's absolutely gorgeous so um so uh, so i was djing this wedding and uh you know i like to take i like to take requests one, it makes, like, as a job as a DJ, you know, it makes picking out songs that the crowd wants to listen to a lot easier. And these guys were definitely into the oldies, and then the last half an hour I kind of let it rip with some of the uh, the more modern crap. Like your Cardi B's and your Lizzo's and other such stuff I don't listen to. Because I'm, I'm, I'm more into the oldies than I am uh, into, the, into the new stuff. But uh, anyways, so the wedding, very early on they... They had written down on my request sheet. Um, hey, we want to hear who let the dogs out. Kid you not, who 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 let the dogs out? And I was like, that that can't be a real request. So I just kind of, I so I kind of just uh, disregarded it. Sure enough, ten thirty at night, somebody came up and requested again. I was like, you can't be serious. And they're like, we are dead serious. And sure enough, I played who let the dogs out entire bridal party is out there on the dance floor just going ham and it was the most awesome thing I have ever seen the flower is looking at me here there we go okay so when we get to here it's this part's a, not abundantly obvious 
So to progress through, we have to kill this flower. And then that gate disappears and, you know, all's well in the kingdom. But anyways, I'm on my I'm on my farewell tour for teaching. I got a couple more gigs and then I, I'm I'm done. Like it's now that I I've recently bought a house and now that I'm a homeowner and stuff, you know, I need I I need to be able to like do stuff on my house on Saturdays. Okay, so once I hit here, nice. We gotta kill that scorpion right there. So there's gonna be a special green scorpion here. You can see it's kind of holding a key there. You're gonna to wanna to kill that. This drops this green key, which is gonna be used in Jungle Door 2. I think that's, yeah, that's this door. Uh, statues are alive. I honestly don't know if they're taking damage from that. For some reason, that's just like the most disconcerting enemy for me in this whole game. <laughs> oh man, I love this gun. Now, originally played through the map, we discovered a bug where they just the gun wouldn't work for me. Oh, nice. But now that I've actually got it for this portion of the map, it's been super nice. There's a part coming up in a later dungeon where you actually need, like, the gun to progress. It's like, I need to get the gun working. And once you know, I ran out of ammo. And the part where I needed the gun to progress. Obviously, you're not here for my quality, uh, my quality commentary. players if uh Maokai was in was in was in Minecraft. Forest protects us all. Come on. Go please. something. Oh, man. Those guys do damage. Come on. Oof. That's four damage. That's four health a hit. Good God. Gun. I need scarier sword. Um, I don't remember if this was anything important back here. Vines are not what they appear to be. legitimately don't remember this one. Why is it not what they appear to be? Well, clearly, I can't get up. Oh, good lord, how did I get out of here for the last time? Is 
something that I just like hit or Oh right. Aha. Huh. It is something you hit. Mm. It's a snark. I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. As I wildly miss with the firearm. This puzzle. Now, this is actually like the coolest puzzle in this whole game, I think. Like, I don't know why this this puzzle just stuck out with me real hard. So what happens is you hit the button underneath this this block here, and it's got like a little laser on the front. So I hit the button. I'm sorry, it shoots out an arrow. So if I so you would it's a push puzzle. So I do that, hit this button. dump off my large amounts of money. Uh, jungle Temple Door Key 3. Okay. Oh! I'm back where I started here. Okay. Um, which one's... They can come down the hallway. I hate that these things can come down the hallway. Oop. Oh, good lord, there's more of them. Kind of reminds me of uh, Borderlands 3 music when you're assaulting the bunker. One of the scenes, one of the, one of the uh, no, Borderlands 2, I'm sorry. One of the um, area loops for the bunker assault is music very similar to this that's playing right now. Something was supposed to attack me in here. Or maybe not. Whatever. Uh, yes, thing back here. More ammo. I'm chewing through a lot of it on this dungeon. Hmm, those statues look strange. They could could they say something? So if you click on these statues, it they're acting like they're trying to say something. The statue is silent. Is the statue trying to say something? Uh, the secret is to... So they're going to help you with this next puzzle. This one's actually just an asshole. Um, so what they're going to tell you... I don't remember which one it is. This one back here, I'm pretty sure. So the secret is to walk between two statues. Now that's a piece of advice you're gonna use throughout the rest of the game, believe it or not. So this puzzle is gonna be 
Um, so this is going to be important advice for a few other puzzles in the map. So you see how there's the two statues here. If I walk between, I walk through basically a fake, uh, fake wall. Alright, what was this one? Okay, so this one is again not super obvious. But the statue, you're actually able to push it. So the spike trap activates, and you just walk right underneath it. Okay, this one's just annoying. Right. One more back there, I can see it's club. The trick is to not get ganged up by these things. Okay, now here's another another push puzzle here. So just as long as... Oh, 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 there we go. You want to match that picture on the ground here with these kind of puzzle pieces. Still have no clue how the hell he makes these. And the gate opens. Use some fertilizer to grow a vine. Um, okay, so again, walk between two statues. And there's some fertilizer. Oh, I'm not dying in one shot. Statue trying to say something? Go back, walk between two statues. So, if I use this fertilizer, nice. I grew a vine. Boss time. He's not taking damage from the gun. Oh, wait, he's spawning shit. That's right. So the stone golem, in all of its annoyance, by itself, easy boss. Mini boss side. Boss? Yeah, by itself, actually a fairly straightforward, very easy boss. With the Golem Patrol here, very difficult, very annoying boss. Fortunate little balls of death deal much damage. As 
as I can stay fed, I'll be fine. Gen 2. That is actually a really tough fight. Key number four, thank goodness. That's probably one of the tougher fights in this game. All right, and I think this is actually a really good stopping point. Um, so when we come back next time, we're going to clear through the rest of the jungle temple and then time permitting, kind of see where we end up there. But until next time, guys, see ya.